All right, y'all. We're going to have some fun today and make a map of your state or states and be able to put the county lines and the names of the counties and you know anything else that you want on your map. Uh, in the past, I've used this to um, for a previous job to be able to quickly look up what address um, a customer was um, in which county, but there's um, probably a lot of other different ways that you could use this um, for your for a particular job that you have or maybe some kind of research project you're working on or maybe you just want to have some fun so all right well let's get to it I'll close this so the first thing that we want to do is we need to get our county data so we're gonna Google cartographic boundary files KML Okay, as we've done before, you we want the census.gov data, we want the government data, <clears throat> we don't trust anyone else. Okay, it will take you to some historical data. Um, county lines don't usually change too often, but we want to make sure that we have the most updated data. So, we see they have this little notice here. So we want the most updated data, so we'll click this link. All right, here we go, 2019, latest and greatest. So let's see, county, 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 here we go. Okay, so um, let's just say that we're crazy about the details. So we want the most detailed county map where this Google Maps will ever see. So we're going to take this one and we want the shape file. Okay, this is important. All right, so I downloaded it and double click it to open, at least on a Mac. And let's take a look at our data. Okay, so here we go. Now the next part. Um, we need to d use a program called QGIS, Q -G -I -S, uh, to kind of, we need to delete all of the other counties that are in the counties that we don't care about and keep the ones that we want and then we will push that to Google My Maps. Okay, so I'm going to open QGIS here. If you've never used this before, it's, it's a really cool program, it's free. So go ahead and just download it. Just search QGIS and you'll find it, no problem. So project new. And let's go to our shapefile and drag it in. Okay, now we have everything. So we can't just start going to town and deleting everything first. We have to modify the data slightly and then we can start deleting everything that we don't care about. So here's our layer file. We need to right click this. Open attribute table. Okay. Here's all the data. And we need to add a column here, um, an, an indexing column. So this data is not doesn't have a master key. Some people call it index, master key column, whatever. It doesn't matter. But every row needs to have a unique identifier so that QGIS can know exactly which row to delete. It can't just go off row one, row two. It has to have a master key column. Okay, so the way that we do this, well first we have to click the little pencil icon to to start editing. And you see this, I think this is a computer. We we need to hit this button, open field calculator. And we need to create a new field. We'll call it ID. Leave all the stuff the same. And thankfully, there's a 
formula, we need to search ID and hit this one right here, double click it. Money sign ID. Okay, this is good. Click OK. Bam, we have our IDs. Okay, let's close out of this for the moment. Go on save. So the next thing we need to do is figure out what state do we want. Now, I'm from Alabama, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take Alabama. So we have to figure out the state ID number. So every state has an ID number with the census data, and we need to figure out what what state ID is ours. So click the little the I button. And let's just say we were doing Mississippi. You click a random county in Mississippi and this little box opens up. It's always so small on my computer. And we see the state FP is 28. That's what we care about. Okay. Alabama, I know, is one because we're number one. And also because Alabama is usually the first state in the alphabetical list. Okay, so I want for me, I want to delete everything that is not state FP number one. So let's go back to the attribute table, right click, open attribute table. Okay, state FP. So see, you see the state FP? These are all these different states all jumbled up. But if we click on the state FP column header, it's gonna, well, there we go. It's gonna sort them in numerical order. Okay, now because I'm special, zero, 01 is at the top, so it just means I have to delete everything below. So an easy way to do this is select all your state IDs, and then we'll invert the selection and delete everything else. So click the first one, go down, oh, I missed it, hold the shift key, and for me, I'm going to select these. And now I need to invert my selection, so I select everything else. So it's this triangle-looking button. <laughs> well, I did something wrong, didn't I? Try that again. Oh, buddy. I'm going to deselect everything. Let's try it again. Open attribute table, select these rows, let's try it again, there we go, okay now I go, actually we can delete it right here, so delete selected features, now we're left with Alabama. Okay, now we need to export this. So right click on the layer, export, save feature as. If it's not already selected, make sure it's KML. This is what Google likes. And save it in your favorite place. You have to click this little button over here, choose a place, county. Data mobile. Oh, nope. County data Alabama. Okay. Now let's go back to here. Let's maps Google. My maps. Create a new map, 
Okay, let's call our map counties of Alabama. Okay, click the import button and go to your folder. Go to your folder and open the, the .kml. Let it upload. And here we are. All the county lines of Alabama. So what we want to do, let's say, well first off, I'd like there to be a nice, you know, color inside. So individual styles, what we need to do is make a uniform style of color coding. I want to put the name of each county inside the box. Hmm, let's see, I want I want the counties to be purple. And there there to be a decent transparency to it. And let's increase the border width a little bit. And there we are. So let's say we wanted to we forgot what county Auburn University is in. Here we go. And I click the purple and I will quickly find out that it's in Lee County. But we all should have already known that. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I'll post some links in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, share it with someone. Have a good day. Bye.